Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 3rd of June 2023. Uh, it's midnight in the UK, 6am here in Thailand. Literally just uh, so hot off the press, the, the Guardian uh, expert level game for this week has just been released and I reckon I could be the first person to play it. Uh, apart from anybody outside, I mean, out, uh, apart from anybody inside the Guardian, no doubt. Like the setter, if the setter was indeed a human. Uh, all right, let's go on with the game in just a second before we note the tragic news coming from India, uh, from eastern India, I believe. Um, and uh, there has been a horrific train crash uh, with multiple fatalities. Um, currently, the uh, currently, Reuters is uh, saying around 207 people have been killed and 900 injured. And there were reports on the BBC radio uh, World Service about um, from from a, from an eyewitness talking about you know seeing people with lost hands and feet and stuff like that. Uh, it's just awful, awful situation coming out from India there. So uh, our best wishes to. Uh, people there in the current um, situation and let's hope uh, let's hope the death toll doesn't rise anymore it, it could it seems to be uh, getting larger the whole time so uh, anyway not much more we can say about that really is there uh, I believe the Indian government have been investing in railways have put a lot in but um, I mean if you've ever seen an Indian well I don't know it may have changed over the years but I mean I've seen Indian trains in the past and they are incredibly crowded which is good for the planet i mean actually train travel is really the best way that um for the best thing for um the planet in terms of you know moving lots of people trains are the best thing that we can use really but uh, overcrowding is certainly a problem if it's dangerous okay let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we and uh, i saw a couple of things that i looked away from the grid and i think i've lost them again uh okay let me uh say see what i let me look again. Okay, so I can see a 7 blocking across here, which is going to put a 7 um, into that square there. Um, and we can finish this block here with a 4. Um, I saw something else as well, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a 6 blocking across here and across here and up here. So that's going to give us a 6 in that square. I'm playing this game early because I'm going out to lunch today, but I also want to listen to uh, a webcast that kind of takes up my whole of Saturdays, really, my Saturday mornings, because it lasts so long, but it's really funny. So I want to cheer myself up with that. Uh, we have eights uh, in this square here, obviously, because of the intersecting eights that I just showed you. And then we have eights blocking across here and up here, which is going to give us an eight in that square there. Uh, we can get eights down here as well. Okay. We have nine blocking this square here, so nine will have to appear here, and a one will finish here, and we need obviously one blocking across here, so one will fit there. Uh, missing numbers across here are two, four, five. Missing numbers over here are four and five. Missing numbers here are three, seven, nine. And we've got three and seven in the same column, so that's going to be our nine. And we can say nine's blocking down to the bottom here and across here and across here will give us a nine there. And we have nines going up to the top giving us a nine in that square we can take the nines across it's going to be our first completed digit there we go that's the last nine
Um, okay, let's see um, by going through the digits if we can find anything else. Yep, we've got a three across here and a three down here that puts three into one of these two squares. Bring it back in this direction and the three is blocking down here. So we will get ourselves a three here. Oh, we just have a single four, so um, So we have 6 and 5 blocking across here and 6 and 5 blocking down. So we're going to get ourselves a pair of 6 and 5 in these squares. But I don't know if that's going to help. Let's see. Ah, I think it is. Because now when we see the 1 blocking down here, we know 1 is restricted to either of these two squares and cannot appear in this square here. So that's going to be our 1. And then we can finish off this uh, column with a 7. So it was helpful. Uh, let's think again. So I said these were 5 and 6, right? So now when we see the 7 blocking across here, we know that 7 is in one of these two squares, so blocking up here. And then we have 7 blocking across here, so we know that that's our 7. This is going to be our 3 um, to finish, uh, because we have 3s blocking across here, I mean. Um, okay. Uh, anything else we can do down here? So this is 5 and 6. So now we've got 1s over here, and we've got 7s there. We're looking for 2s and 4s, fo and fours, right? Um, but as yet, I don't know. I don't think I know any more about that. Okay, we have 3 and 8 blocking up here, and 3 and 8 here blocking up there, and then 3 and 8 across here. So we have a pair of 3 and 8 up here. What does it mean? Let's find out. Uh, it means that now we know 1 blocking across here and 1 blocking up here gives us a 1 in that square there. And where else do we need a 1? We need 1 across here and up there so I think that's the last no it's not the last one where where on earth do we need a, oh we need one down here there we go one's down here if I can hold down the right key and across here that's the last one surely yes it is okay now back up here what did I say three and eight are in those squares there so we're looking for two four and seven no two four and six rather um, so the six 
blocks this so sixes will be in these squares here so now when we see the six blocking up here and up here and we have a six in one of these two squares blocking across here means that that is going to be our six don't think we can finish those though um, Um, okay, another pause, an intermission maybe. Uh, go and get the popcorn while I think of the next digit. Uh, ah, I've found something. Okay, we've got seven blocking these squares and seven blocking this square, but we don't have seven in this row yet, so let's put it in there, shall we? And now we've got two blocking this square and two blocking this square, so in this row that's where the two lives. And now we've got 2 and 7 here. So 2 and 7 must appear in these two squares down here, right? And this has to be a 4 to complete the column. Um, and... Four across here which puts four into one of these two squares across there that will give us a four there and now there's only one number to finish this row what are you what are you you are a six I believe uh, right then six down here down here and across there gives us a six in that square six back this way puts the six here no we haven't finished them yet I keep thinking we've done enough but no there seems to be one more each time there we go that's the last six uh, three, eight. Um, I think I'll just click on the numbers bit by bit and see if I can spot anything else now. Um, ah, I've seen something five blocks across here we don't have five in this column that's where the five goes and uh, we have fives blocking down oops <laughs> down here oh I'm holding the wrong key down again that's why and down here so that's going to give me a five in that square um, the last number to place here is a four four also blocks down here and gives us a four in this square here and four blocks across here giving me a four there four to the bottom puts four in that square there and the last number to place here is a two two blocking all the way to the top giving us a two there um, and we can f also get a two in this row here. Uh, then we have twos up, two down, there's a two. And two across here gives us the final two. Uh, back down here we're looking for a seven, I think. Um, 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 and then up here we're looking for an eight and this 8 will block across here giving us an 8 there that's the final 8 then here we're looking for a 3 I think and 3 across the top row gives us a 3 in that square there 3 down here and 3 across this row gives us a 3 there I'm haphazardly randomly mousing uh, and the missing digit here is going to be a 5 I think Okay, five blocking all the way to the top, giving us a five in that square. The missing number here is a seven. Seven blocks down here. Here is our seven. Missing number here is a four. Four also blocks down here, gives us a four. And we finished today's so-called expert level game with a five. Not too tricky, I think. Thank you. I'll be back uh, hopefully this evening. Long, long time from now. It's only six, well, six something. Not even 20 past six yet. 
<laughs> um, and uh, I've got to get ready for my, listening to my uh, online webinar. Not mine, somebody else's. David Feldman. Join me. Join us. Join us. It's great fun. See you. Bye bye. <laughs>